This is my uh, setup uh, showing the uh, uh, using uh, resonance, true resonance of the cell. The cell you see that I'm using is this cylindrical one to the just to the slightly to the left. What you're seeing on meters is the first one is current from the 12 volt source. The second one is the current being drawn by the cell and the third is the voltage across the cell which will be about 2.14 somewhere in that area. I'm going to start up I'm feeding this with a square wave uh, that is rich in harmonics and the circuit that I'm using which I'll post a little bit later is right there. Now you see to the left there is the resonant coil. It's a ferrite coil and if we zoom in on it here it is underneath a very strong magnet. This is the actually the circuit on a heat sink. Very simple circuit. So again we're going to just monitor these voltages and I'm going to turn on the square valve oscillator and I'll show you what goes on when we hit resonance. The first thing you do is you hear this high voltage squeal or this high pitch squeal. I'm going to adjust on the generator to try to find the resonance, keep an eye on the left meter, which is your supply voltage. It's 12 volts and it's drawing right now 3.1 amps. The cell is drawing 7.1 amps at 2.49 volts. So I'm going to now go, I'm going to change the I'm going to come off of resonance. Oh, actually, I'm hitting resonance right now. Okay. So around 2.7. Uh, 2.45 and 6.6 .6 amps draw on the cell. If I go down away from resonance, notice the current is being drawn higher from the uh, cell and there is a little bit more being drawn from... Now we're hitting the second resonance point here. You hear, hear this? This is the second frequency. That's not the primary frequency that gives us the most pr production, but it's, it's again, it, it is a resonance point if you watch the meters. Now we're going to go away from that and notice that our supply current is rising as well as the, the, the voltage and the, uh, uh, the, the, the cell draw. And then we'll go down, it's about as far as we can go there, 6 amps. Eight. Okay, now we hit another resonance. Okay, and a little dip there. When we hit the, always when we hit some type of resonance point, we're going to have a little dip. And you hear that gurgly sound. Now also, critical to that is the amplitude. Now you asked me what the magnets are for. And we actually it's a speaker, so I can listen to it. In other words, I just have these magnets against this ferrite rod with the uh, bifold uh, winding. And also, very important, is the bias on the, on the MOSFET. Very important. Now, what is produced across the cell is is around 500 cycles, 600 cycles. We're at about, I would say, on the main harmonic here, we're about 9 uh, kc. But the harmonic that, that you hear, that that noise you hear, right there, that frequency across the cell is about about uh, 500 cycles. So we'll go back up the frequency. Do we have another one?
Okay, here we are. Here you hear the high frequency again. And now this is the primary one right here. Again, I'm adjusting the frequency. The amplitude. And the bias. So this is the first stage of design. Uh, I'm going to be using, like Bob Boyce, I'm going to actually have separate uh, random uh, uh, generators feeding a, a modified coil assembly as you see here. And I'm just using a, a power supply. Uh, now, if we want to, this is the beauty, you want to run your, 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 your tank voltage somewhere between 2.5 and, and 3.5 and volts, no more. You do not get any more for your bang by running 12 volts into it. We can bypass the get a clip lead on here. We can bypass the the circuit here now and watch the current jump both both in supply and in drawn. We got 21 amps and 23 amps to the cell. Voltage is gone to three point one. So you got two ranges to run here. You can run resonance. Or I can run uh, full current. Okay, again, the voltage, notice the voltage does not go above 3.5 volts per cell at uh, 20, well, we're doing 20 some amps there. However, when you're running on that mode, the, the coil is going to run very hot. About 100 and, uh, 100, 200, 121 degrees, and can run even hotter than that. I've had it up to 212 degrees, 123. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to let not talk, and you can listen to the noise. By the way, if I turn the pulse off, the number on the right is actually the cell is a, is, is a capacitor, or it's like a battery. It's 1.60 right now, it'll bleed off after a while. Okay, now what I'm going to do is show you next the production of this is a cell that is uh, an early prototype testing cell. It is not the, the finished design, but I am going to show you, this is one of two that I developed. This is a, the, uh, the classic, and I also have a dry cell that you can use this power supply on any cell, but it has, the cell has to be modified so there are no neutrals and they're only plus and minus plates. Uh, that is the key. Resonance on, resonance on, off. Full drive mode. This is uh, just a, a, this is not my final cell. My final cell is um, actually has uh, two accelerators and it produces about 40% more than the first model. Okay. Now the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to fire it up here in just a second and we're going to run it full bore. I'm going to cool down. Oh, can't, can't do it that way. Okay. Got to let it just uh, settle down for a moment because show you the output at 22 amps is amazing okay it's it's settling down pretty good here I'm gonna try to clip this on okay you can see the, the fury that is going now again this is two point let me see what the voltage is I'm sorry 3.42 across the cell from a 12 volt supply I'm gonna turn it off here now, doing running that, you're going to have to heat sink this this coil. You're going to have to put some type of heat sink on there because it's going to get over 200 degrees in 